Hey! We're making a video. So, uh, today I want to talk about my favorite photo that I've ever taken, and, uh, why it might be one of the stupidest things that I've ever done in my whole life. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so the photo in question is this bad boy here. Oh, gross! So what we're looking at here is Blanchard Peak off of the summit of Alouette, which is where I hiked. Uh, out of a little spot called Golden Ears Park here in BC. So as we can see here, the trail starts all the way down here at the Golden Ears campground area. And uh, we hike up this section here and we go up the mountain. This hike veers off to another peak called Evans Peak, uh, seen in the background of this shot. A couple of silly boys, me and my friend. Uh, and I had hiked this one in the summer. From it, you can see our destination in this video. So that's Alouette Mountain in the back right there of this clip. Now it's at this junction where things got um, stupid. Uh, I got my snowshoes on for the fresh snowfall and there is the tiniest remnants of a trail that I can make out in this shot here. I cannot stress how difficult it was as it got steeper with the snow. Uh, there are points where I was wading knee deep in powder, sometimes even up to my waist. I was so exhausted and there were several points where I wanted to turn around. I genuinely wasn't sure if I could mentally get up the final steep push with the snow as it was. Plus the cloud cover kept changing and I couldn't make out any good views anymore. So I'm like, is this even worth it? But I pressed on and then I got to this spot. Now this is the top of the steepest section of the hike and you can really see kind of how it drops off but the snow does level out a lot and it was a lot easier to move around and the clouds started to part so we get this view here. Time was still ticking though because I didn't want to be up on the mountain uh, after dark because that's how people die. So I scoped out the shot that I wanted. I set up my 70 to 200 millimeter lens to really show the scale of what standing in this spot felt like. And I ran across the peak to stand in position, took a bunch of shots, and I was eventually left with this. Now for me, this photo is the mountain, it's the sky, it's the wind, it's the light, it's the clouds the lone snowshoe tracks, it really kind of shows the scale of the image, the serenity, how small I am in the photo compared to the mountain. And to me, I really was able to capture the feeling of being in this spot on this day. And I think this image tells a bit of a story and I love that. A lot of photographers that I really look up to uh, we'll talk about how important storytelling is for a photo, you know, what is the photo trying to say? And while I don't think every single photo has to tell like some grand narrative, I think the best photos do invoke kind of the sense of intrigue of like, oh, I could put myself into that scene and kind of envision myself in that location. Now, I'm sure you realize many red flags uh, in this video if you have even like a day of experience in the mountains. Um, the reason why this was so stupid is because I was alone. Loser. Um, and I didn't have any avalanche training. So that was incredibly dumb. And um, I've since got the gear and the training and years of experience since this shot, but um, I just need to point out and acknowledge that this was incredibly risky and um, I'm very lucky that nothing had happened, not to sound like a parent, but don't become a statistic, just get the proper gear, get the proper training. Well, that's my stupid story. Do you have any stupid stories with your photos? It's always cool to see a photo and hear like some ridiculous story behind it. So if you have any, drop those links and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Don't, don't be a dumb dumb like me. Bye.